Hi friends, I would like to show you how I make the best use of AeroGod in Harvest and Harvest Excel. I started this Harvest Excel just 5 days ago with orange head tomato seeds. Seeds have sprouted already. Since we can grow a maximum of 2 tomato plants in a harvest model, I placed only 2 pods. The sprouts are too small and a little hard to see at this moment. It will take anywhere from 30 to 45 days for the tomato plants to reach the full maturity and start flowering. They are going to stay low and compact in the first 30 days. I feel like I am just wasting the resources in this harvest excel during this time. So I always try to make the best use of the harvest models by planting some short crops like radish. Tomato plants won't be bothered by other plants during this time. I think they know sharing is caring. This time, I am growing French breakfast radishes in this harvest excel. These radishes will take about 20 days for the maturity and we can harvest them anywhere between 20 and 25 days. I am just adding one seed in each pod and placing all four pods. This way, I can use the Harvest Excel more efficiently. Here is another Harvest. This is the basic version which is pretty compact compared to Harvest Excel. But I can do the same thing in this Harvest as well. I am adding one seed in each pod and placing all four pods here as well. This way, I can make the best use of Harvest as well. That's it. Let's monitor how this will work out. It's been 3 days. Starting with harvest, 3 seeds sprouted well and I can see little seedlings. I don't see any sign of germination in 4th pod. I will wait for 2 more days. If I don't see any signs of germination, I will replace the seed. Coming to harvest excel, I see 2 seeds sprouted here. I don't see any sign of germination in the remaining 2 pods. I will wait for 2 more days and replace the seeds here as well. Day 14, I had to replace 3 seeds as they stunted. Now all radish plants are coming nice. I can see baby radishes already. Sometimes I see radish leaves go over the tomato plants and block the light. So I just rotate the pods as needed to make sure the tomato plants are not covered. Same in Harvest Excel as well. Radish plants are growing nice and I am already seeing baby radishes. One good thing with Harvest Excel is that it is pretty spacious. So radish plants are not coming onto the tomato plants at all. Day 16, radishes are growing nice in both gardens. Day 24, I think the radishes have reached their full maturity. They are not growing anymore. Tomato plants also established very well. They are getting big and developing new branches. Same thing in Harvest Excel. Radishes are pretty much ready and tomato plants are well established. Day 25, it's time to harvest the radishes. I am starting with harvest. Now I am harvesting from Harvest Excel. Here is my complete harvest. Look at these beautiful radishes. 
the left side is from harvest and the right side is from harvest excel one important thing at this point is we have to dump the water rinse the bowl and start with fresh water and nutrition just showing the radish pods in harvest excel quickly not a lot of roots that's good Tomato plants also doesn't have a lot of roots, so it is easy to handle the cleaning process. Now let's check the radish pods in harvest. Not a lot of roots here as well. I clean the bowls and put them back. Now the tomato plants have their own garden. So this is how I can make the best use of harvest. In fact, we can make best use of any garden this way. Hope this tip is helpful. Thanks for watching. Happy Aero Gardening. What does it taste, Preksha? Um, it tastes good. Is it spicy? A little bit spicy. Is it sweet? It's sweet, a little bit spicy, and it's good. Overall, do you like it? Yeah. Okay, and thank I you. Like Thank you for the feedback. Da, 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 da.